Hi, Grandma from Grandma's Footsteps here and we're going to do today the um, quick video that I promised you regarding trees. I've knocked up a quick background for it to work on so let's just get on with it. These are the two mixed fibres that I decided to use for the trees. The lighter coloured one will make a tree further in the background. Um, it's gives more depth to your picture if you use lighter colours in the background and also smaller items. So um, I shall start to make the first tree. I just take off a section that is about the width of the tree trunk that I want and just pull it off the uh, bat here and I smooth it out a little bit. Um, and put that to one, the rest of it to one side. So all we do is we decide where we're going to do the tree. And um, I decided that was a little bit too thick, so I removed some. But we decide where we're going to put our tree. You see, I'm smoothing out the fibres here, and I'm going to put the tree here at this hill with the bottom of it at the bottom of the hill. So I put it down, and you sort of smooth it out. You hold it tight between your finger and your thumb, so it's going to give a nice um, trunk to the tree it's going to look good and what you do is you just needle felt a small area up which is basically what you're going to want the length of the trunk of your tree to be um, before any branches come out okay and once you've done that you take the bottom now I like to trim mine off but so that it comes out in the right place but you trim you take your bottom and you spread it out and that actually makes the bottom of the tree a little bit wider and also gives you the effect of tree roots. When we do the second tree you'll see more uh, more detailed roots um, because it's closer to the front so um, you're going to see more detail there. So I'm just needle felting now the around the roots um, just to hold it down. At this point I don't needle felt too hard. Um, because if I want to change something it's a lot easier if you haven't um, needle felted it in too much and now what we do is we separate out the fibers um, and this will be the start of our branches so as you can see it has the added advantage of making it automatically thinner or, or narrower because the branches get thinner as they go up the tree um, so by doing that you've got a branch that is thinner than the trunk and that is absolutely perfect and you can separate them out again um, put a couple of wispy type branches right at the top there um, I think this is an, an absolutely brilliant and simple method of making a tree so that's what we're doing here and with just a little bit of uh, needle felting, a little bit of poking and but what you do have to be very careful of is the where it comes off the trunk, that V-shaped piece there. You have to make sure that you don't make it look too thick um, so that you're not um, making the branch look as thick as the trunk at this point. So you just continue separating out your fibres um, and adding branches and you put them in different directions, some of them you can do straight, some of them you can do a bit bent, because um, trees grow in all sorts of different directions, um, and they very rarely come out dead straight from a tree. It looks odd if they do, but um, that's that center section there is the continuation of the, tr the main trunk. So I do like that to go fairly straight up, um, but and also here you'll see that I've brought back in one of the bits that we've separated out a bit so that the branches don't come off at the same place on both sides because it looks it just looks too symmetrical and it looks odd trees are not technically symmetrical so um, and you just continue to pull out your bits of um, separate out your bits of the fiber and then just needle felt them where you want them.
and now I'm just cutting off the excess that's um, over the edge of the picture um, and I put these bits to one side on my uh, mat here because they're very useful um, when you want to add um, some extra bits to your tree um, so you you can get these bits and you can add them in to make more branches which I'm, I'm just adding a piece in here look um, I want to have sort of like a broken branch a dead branch sticking out there so I just put that extra bit in make sure you blend it well into the trunk or the branch that you're attaching it to um, so it doesn't just look as if it's been stuck on um, you know as, as an afterthought so that's what I like to do and because I want it to be a sort of a dead branch I just cut the end off straight and there you go And now I've picked a piece of the darker um, mixed fibers here to make the large tree that's going on this side. Um, remember, don't go too close to the edge because um, we have actually got the piece of felt slightly bigger than the picture that we, the size of the picture we want it to end up at. So, if you go too close to the edge, you're going to lose some. Okay. In this case, I'm making a, a greetings card, an A5 size greetings card. So, um, once you put it into the aperture you're going to lose some of the outside edges and you don't really want to, to lose part of your tree. So I'm just doing the trunk as we have done before and um, I will, now I've cut it off and now I'm going to do the, the roots. Now you'll see as I separate them out, um, it's causing like little, um, almost like little caves in there. There, you can see now that I've spread them out so that they look more like roots and you get this sort of lovely dark um, part in there which looks as if it's somewhere that a little squirrel or something could live so And now I'm just going to add a little log um, in here as if it's sort of fallen from the tree. Um, I end up being not very happy with it and I, I will probably remove it but um, 
at the moment I'm just showing you you can you can use this uh, method for making logs and things as well so 